Jay is on the other side of the camera once again, and he is wondering this week, how in the world is this all pointing to me? And Jay, I'll just share with you, just as I'm sharing with you on the other side of the computer screen, this isn't just about you. This is about each one of us. We all ask this question at times, are we really where God wants us to be? Are we really following the plans that God has for each one of us? And are we good with those plans? Sometimes the answer is no, because we, we want so much more. We desire so much more, and yet it is so difficult to rest in what it is that God has had for us. I have a young lady who I recently did her wedding for, and when she was in high school, she came to me and she was like, what is wrong with me? Why is it that no one wants to date me? Nobody wants to ask me to the prom or to the dance or whatever it might be. And over and over and over, I didn't have the answer, but my wife did. And she shared with her, did you ever think that maybe God is protecting you from something that you shouldn't be in? Or protecting you from someone that you shouldn't be around? That changed everything for her. She was able to look at things a little bit differently. So, Proverbs 19 verse 22 says, What a person desires is unfailing love, and it's better to be poor than a liar. So at the end of the day, the words that come out of our mouth, are they truthful? Are they uplifting? Are they encouraging? And in the end of the day, can we rest in what God has for us? Because it says that our desire is unfailing love. There's no price tag with that. There's no amount of money that we can give for that. We just want to know that we have that unfailing love, which is what God gives us. And are we then giving that to others? Because the boundaries in our lives are things that God has put in place to protect us and care for us. And the things that it brings in the end are the things that we truly desire, which is His unfailing love.